Hello guys, it's Dale here with weekly trading ideas video for this week starting today, 17th of January 2022. Before we go into the trading ideas, I would like to announce a winner of a contest we had last time. The price of the contest was flexible volume profile indicator for MetaTrader 4 and right now on your screen you see the name of the person who won the profile. So congratulations for winning in the contest. And what I'll do is I'll do another contest for the next week. The only thing you need to do to participate in this contest is just leave a comment below this video on YouTube and next week I'll randomly pick one person that will win my volume profile indicator. All right, so yeah, that's about the contest. Let's now check out the charts. The first trading idea is on the Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. What you see before you is a 30 minute chart of the Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. And there are actually two strong trading levels that I would like to share with you. Um, the first one is in here at 90.65. The second one is in here at 90.97. Both those trading levels are based on a strong downtrend. This one that occurred on Friday. Now, as you can see, there were two significant volume zones on Friday. Those two, right? So let's start with this one. There were heavy volumes. And from this heavy volume zone, the downtrend started, right? Right there, this strong self. This is the beginning of the downtrend. So this is a reason I think that in this area, in this heavy volume area, sellers were getting ready for this sell-off, for this downtrend. They were accumulating their short positions there, right? And when they were done with that, they pushed the price downwards in that downtrend. So I think that strong sellers were active in here. And I think that when the price makes a pullback into this area again, those sellers will become active again. They'll want to defend those shorts which they placed in here and they'll want to push the price downwards from there again, right? This is the volume accumulation setup. It's one of my favorite volume profile setups. By the way, there's also a confluence, another setup that confirms this trading setup. And that confirmation is in here. As you can see, the price bounced off that area in the past. This is the level, right? So it worked as a strong support in the past because the price bounced off it, right? In here. And then when the price went past the level in here on Friday, the support became a resistance, right? This is an old price action setup that I like to combine with volume profile setups, like in here. So both trading setups point to the same trading level, same resistance, which is beginning at 90.97. So yeah, that's the first one. That's the first resistance. Let's now check out the second one, this one, 90.65. So as the sellers were pushing the price downwards, this is a place where the price stopped for a while and the sellers were adding to their shorts. Now, why I'm saying that they were adding the shorts is because from this place, from this heavy volume area, the downtrend continued, right? That's why I think sellers were adding to their shorts rather than getting rid of them. So I think another significant zone for sellers is in here. And that zone begins at 90.65. So again, when there is a pullback, I think that those sellers will want to defend this zone, their shorts, and they'll want to push the price downwards from there again. All right, so that's the two day trading resistances on Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. Let's now switch the chart to the Australian dollar, Swiss franc, where there's another trading idea I would like to talk about. So. Now the chart shows the Australian dollar Swiss franc. Again, it is a 30 minute chart. And in this case, what I'm interested in the most is this zone from which this strong selling activity starts. 
You can also use the volume profile like this, but in this case, it will also show volumes that got traded in here, in this zone, right? But we are not really interested in that because those volumes got already sort of tested right there. We are only interested in volumes that haven't been tested yet. Those volumes. And what I'm often interested in are significant volume zones from which strong selling activity starts, strong trend activity starts, like in here, like this crazy strong sell-off starting from those volumes. So even though those volumes are not that heavy, not that exceptionally heavy, they're important for me because strong sell-off started from there. So I think strong sellers are building up their shorts there, right? So when there is a pullback to 66.23, I think that those sellers, also probably sellers from this zone, will want to defend this area and push the price downwards from there again, right? Into another selling reaction. Something like in here. You see there was a significant volume cluster, significant volumes created within a trend and then that was a reaction. But this volume cluster is already spent as there already was a reaction to it. Well, actually, I should say that the first reaction to this volume cluster was at the beginning of the volume cluster. And this was it. This was the first reaction. Beginning of that heavy volume zone. But anyways, that one is spent, so no need to talk about it. Those volumes haven't been tested yet, so that's the first resistance in line. All right, so that's the Australian dollar Swiss franc. Now let's switch over to another chart. This time it will be Australian dollar and Japanese yen. So what I have in here is a significant volume zone, this significant volume zone. And again, as you can see, this significant volume zone was formed right before really strong and aggressive sell-off. So it appears that strong sellers were building up their shorts there, institutional sellers, and then they pushed the price aggressively downwards, all right? So those sellers are likely to become active again when the price makes it back to that level in the future, 82.79, that's the beginning of that heavy volume zone, right? So when the price makes it back to that heavy volume zone, those sellers are likely to defend this zone and to push the price downwards from there again. All right, so that's the logic behind the Australian dollar Japanese yen. Another strong day trading resistance, which we can trade from. This one is based on the volume accumulation setup. All right, now, if you guys would like to learn more about my trading setups, and if you would like to trade with me every day, then what I recommend is visiting my website. This is it, trader-dale.com. And the next best step is go to trading course and tools. So you click that, you scroll down a bit. And what I recommend is getting the Elite Pack. The Elite Pack is an educational pack that will teach you everything there is about trading with volume profile. And there is a video which you can watch that will show you everything that's included in the Elite Pack. In short, the Elite Pack includes a video course, it includes my day trading and swing trading levels that you'll be getting each day. It also includes volume profile indicators that I developed and also a couple of bonuses. Now, at the top of that, it also includes free tech support for Elite Pack members. And what that means is that our tech support team will set up Ninja Trader 8 platform for you with all my indicators. They'll load up my trading workspaces, they'll connect you to data feed and they'll do it completely free of charge, as that's the part of the service that we provide to the Elite Pack members. All right, so that's about it. That's about the Elite Pack and that's also about this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you found it useful and I'll be looking forward to seeing you next time in some next video or in our members area. And until then, happy trading.